Welcome to Dr. Jester Talks, and I'm gonna talk about this. From the place, actor Ashton Kutcher, 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 warns that China could use TikTok to push anti-US propaganda and create a problem influencing young Americans. You know what? He actually does have a point. Actor Ashton Kutcher says he's concerned over China's potential use of TikTok to create anti-US propaganda in order to influence young, impressionable Americans. And they have been doing so because there's a lot of fucking morons defending the goddamn CCP and the crimes they commit. The constant invasion of territorial waters from other countries, including but not limited to building cities and bases inside Indian territory and other countries in the region. They've actually started to uh, send um, planes, bombers, multiple planes and bombers into uh, Taiwan's identification zone. Yes, the aerial aircraft the identifications on others from Taiwan, they have been provoking and doing those things, and they have actually been stoking the racial fires in America and things like that. Anyway, during his time in office, former president, oh, the nameless one, issued an executive order banning the Chinese created an own social media platform, insisting that the app could be used to spread disinformation campaigns benefiting the Chinese Communist Party and jeopardizing, 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 jeopardizing America's national security. President, forgetful dude, however, revoked the order and put him in office. And this is why we call him Chairman Joe Biden. German Joe Biden. In the place of the Trump order, Biden will direct the Commerce Secretary to investigate any apps with ties to foreign adversaries who may pose a risk to American data, pr data privacy and national security. The Verge reported, Kutcher recently spoke to Joe Lonsdale of American Optimist in an interview about his concern that China could use the popular social platform social media platform as an anti-Taiwanese propaganda effort and worries that China will create a problem via TikTok in the South China Sea. And trust me, they will. Because of the amount of reach TikTok has, TikTok has in the American territory and the media people absolutely love it. David Hogg absolutely loves the, the platform, especially because the nameless one came out against it. And now he loves it, and he sucks its cock like there is no tomorrow. And we can see that. If I'm in China, I want to create a problem in that area. If I am China, and I want to create a problem in that area of the world, specifically a naval problem in the South China Sea, I would probably want to utilize TikTok in order to influence the minds of America. End quote. He admitted. In early June, TikTok quietly updated its privacy policy with regards to United States users, allowing itself to collect user data's biometric data to include voice prints and face prints. Jesus fucking Christ! So, in in other words, Chairman Zhao Biden just made the just made the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, jobs a whole lot easier by striking down the nameless one executive order. Jesus Christ, this dude is an absolute disaster. Anyway, we may collect information about... Ooh. Mm, mm, I need to make it... Uh, insulting. Quote. We may collect information about the images and audio that are part of your user content, such as identifying um, the objects and scenery that appear, the existence and location within the image of face, body features and attributes, the nature of the audio and the text of the words spoken in your user content. Yeah. A portion of the latest privacy policy read as of June. We may collect biometric and science and biometric information as defined under US laws such as face prints and voice prints from your user content. And required by law, and we will seek any required permissions from you prior to any such collections. Mm. 
According to reports, few states have privacy laws against obtaining biometric data, including California, Illinois, New York, Texas, and Washington. During his discussion, the former the 70s, that 70s show actor added that most people believe that there is a media manipulation happening and misinformation campaigns taking place, just not through their sources. Hmm. He may have a point. Quite a, quite a good point. Hmm? Fascinating. I think that's wrong, and I think we are about to face a reckoning in the particular domain, and it's going to probably change what social media looks like in the future, he added. My sense is that social media is today is not what social media is going to be in five years. He's also got a point. If the trend line continues on the path that it's on today, my kids will not be on social media. If the trend line pivots as I think it will, like it likely will, there's a change that I will allow them to use it. Hmm. I think he's referencing to the nameless, law, uh, nameless one a lawsuit coming up against Bongholi's tweeters or Internet's collective bunghole on underwear, which is that shit stain called Twitter, and the asshole that comes out of it, which is recent era on Facebook and all the other shenanigans. Hmm, that's interesting, but either way. China has a hold on the entire platform, and that is concerning. That is very concerning. And America had the greatest opportunity of it all to tackle it. And what did they do? Well, Chairman Joe Biden decided. Nah, nah, nah. Well. Now we are going to have a bigger problem in the future because that idiot doesn't seem to know where he is at or what he is doing most of the time or what he's talking about. You know, to international Prussia, to international Prussia. Hey, corn pop. Yeah, you, corn pop. Corn pop. Anyway. I think that's about it, so if you like this type of content, stay right here on goddamn fucking youtube.com forward slash dot chance or if you prefer uh, spicy and exclusive content, head to bitchu.com forward slash dot chance or mines.com forward slash dot chance. So since this is the Friday and weekend I don't do uploads, well, I will be on call if there's anything earth shattering or interesting in the weekend for me to talk about. And I'll make a special transmission. Uh, hello. Either way. Uh, anyway, well, uh, uh, yeah, anyway, see you guys on Monday. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching this video. So, have a great fucking night! And a weekend too.